All right, guys, uh, we're live with the first episode of the Pixels Get Me podcast. I don't have a better name for it yet, um, but just uh, a brief intro of what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to try to build a community around gaming and tech. I know there's a lot of these podcasts out there, uh, but I think I've been in the, uh, I think I've been a fan long enough to uh, speak to what I think is uh, is some of the cool stuff that's coming. And, uh, and we'll get some guests, uh, regular viewers of the stream, or, or maybe some, some game devs in the future, and we'll talk about uh, some of this stuff. But uh, the, the gaming and tech umbrella is pretty big, but that's exactly how big it needs to be, because it gives us a lot to talk about, it gives me a lot of room to kind of go uh, whichever direction I want to go. So, uh, so a quick introduction. I'm Pixels Get Me. I am over it at uh, Mixer.com. I stream over there. I've been streaming over there for a little over six months. Uh, really cool community and uh, a lot of support. Uh, what I play on uh, on stream is typically uh, a variety of dungeon crawlers or looters. Uh, a lot of Diablo 3. That's kind of like my, my home base game. And then I kind of spread out from there into Path of Exile. And uh, we've done a little bit of Warframe. I'm very much looking forward to uh, Diablo 3 on Switch. It should be a good time. Uh, there's also uh, a game called uh, Wilson. Let me see if I have it open here. There we go. Yeah, Wilson has a uh, has a beta that's coming um, very soon. They've been in alpha and early early access for a long time. They just recently, two days ago, tweeted out this... Uh, this beta transition and planning uh, document, which kind of highlights their roadmap. So it's pretty awesome. Very much looking forward to this. Uh, it's dark, like Diablo, um, but it's new. And we'll have to wait patiently to see what comes out for uh, for Diablo when we're talking like BlizzCon and all that. But, um, but yeah, for now, this will probably hold me over as we wait. Um, also there's another game I'm looking forward to called Breach and you guys have probably heard of this one this is a, uh, a co-op action RPG so basically you have uh, four characters I believe at a time fighting together very uh, very overwatchy with a lot of different classes a lot of different heroes um, but the other trick is there can be another player on the opposite team called the uh, Void Demon and they can kind of disrupt the team as they're crawling through an objective which is typically a dungeon multi-room with a boss at the end so i'm really looking forward to this uh they were showing a lot of stream well they showed one stream at uh at pax south or pax west but they had a lot of people available to to demo the game at other locations and uh, i heard nothing but good things so i'm really looking forward to that um, at this point, I would introduce the panel that we're talking with tonight, but tonight we actually don't have anyone hanging out, so uh, maybe next time we'll have some some guests on. Uh, for right now, um, what I'm playing, let's, let's go over that real quick. Uh, so as of last night, Diablo 3 Season 15 launched on PC, so I've been playing that pretty hard. Uh, we got a Demon Hunter this season, so that's kind of nice because I kind of, uh, I betaed, Diablo back in the day, but I didn't pick it up on PC at the time. Uh, a lot of a lot of life stuff going on. I really wasn't PC gaming at that moment. Uh, but then with the PS3 and the Ultimate Evil Edition coming out, I jumped on that, and then they stopped patching it. So I bought a PS4 and the Ultimate Evil Edition again, uh, which was a really really fun time. Uh, Loot 2.0 was awesome. It still is awesome, and uh, and yeah. So after that, I kind of found out that consoles weren't getting seasons and I had a pretty decent computer so I'm like well I'll just buy it on computer so I've been playing on a PC ever since since about season four um, and then later PlayStation got seasons and I haven't really haven't really messed around with it too much since it's had seasons but like I said earlier Diablo 3 for Switch is looking really good also uh, recently today we or yesterday it's kind of late so yesterday uh, we got the Switch uh, Nintendo online club thing. So I bought the family account for me and the kiddos. Um, it's pretty cool playing the NES classics for a minute. So I played some Super Mario 3, which was fun. Uh, tennis, which I do not remember being that hard. 
and also uh was it ghouls and goblins like that was also equally difficult i was kind of shocked i know the game was was awfully difficult as a child um but i thought for sure i stood a chance um nowadays but not the case um so that was pretty rough i like that you can do save states kind of like on uh on roms you know when you play the old roms but um, at the same time, I'd like to see if I can beat one of those games. I was also Excite Biking. Excite Bike's also a good time. Um, besides that, we were uh, we were playing Rocket League on Switch, me and my son, and that's another reason why we got the uh, the Nintendo Online Club because you have to have it now to play online for Rocket League. Uh, which brings me to another point. We'll talk about the Rocket Pass. So I've been looking at it, but we haven't bought it yet. But now that we're looks like we're going to be playing a little bit more Rocket League, I'm really tempted. I mean, the uh, the way to to earn more stuff, you know, like the premium items. I mean, some of these items are are just ridiculously awesome. You know, like some of these some of these wheels are fantastic. Like I don't have a lot of a lot of cosmetics at all. And um, where is this gold explosion at? It's so amazing. I'm looking for it. I'm not sure if I see it. Oh, Supernova. Yeah, this gold explosion is so awesome. So I might get it just to try to get to tier 68 and get the Supernova 3. I think they have a much earlier Supernova. Yeah, like tier 11, which is definitely attainable, but it's not nearly as epic as Supernova 3. But anyway, um, so yeah, we're probably going to be getting into that. Also, uh, in the past, I played League of Legends. Um, not too hard. Um, but enough that it was it was a fun time um, back in season two, and recently I reinstalled it just kind of seeing where it's at, what it's doing, and I like the the idea of their PVE mode. That's really exciting. I don't have a tab open for that at the moment, but um, but yeah, like the PVE mode of uh, of League of Legends is probably going to be pretty awesome. So I I need to I need to spin that up one day. Um, also, World of Warcraft got Battle for Azeroth. I uh, got that patch, so um, it's tempting, you know. I, I just I don't I don't have too much time to game. I game about I don't know twenty, maybe a little bit more than twenty hours a week, um, just with the stream and everything. So uh, it locks down that time where I could play WoW, but then I would never play enough, and that's the the problem. Like you can play. Wow, way more than two hours a day and never really get anywhere. So I'll have to be careful on that. I don't know. We'll see. But it does look like a pretty amazing expansion. Um, For new games coming out that I'm kind of excited about, I said earlier uh, Diablo 3 on the Switch. That's going to be good. Uh, that's November 2nd. And then soon after, I'm also excited for another Switch title, uh, Smash Bros. That's on December 7th. I'd really like to, uh, I'd really like to get Smash on the channel and see how see how well it does um, maybe get some groups going maybe start a tournament or two uh, with like giveaways at the end I don't know it'd just be a cool competitive uh, thing I could shout cast some of the matches I don't know you know it, it's it's got a lot of potential I'm not a huge uh, Smash Bros fanatic or anything but I do enjoy the game a lot uh, fave character is definitely Mario so don't judge me if uh, if that's a bad pick but uh, you know, he's pretty classic, you know, he can tear it up. So, um, and then there was another game that, uh, uh, new game hype. Let's see. We got ring of Elysium. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but it just came out a couple days ago. Um, so basically it's battle Royale, um, with, uh, with snowboards. So I'm all about, you know, SSX Battle Royale. I don't know if you guys played SSX growing up, but uh, Tricky is probably one of my favorite snowboarding games ever. And uh, and I was watching Fo Daddy play this a couple days ago, and uh, he was completely destroying. But he's he's pretty good at Battle Royale in general. I am definitely not. But the idea of being able to snowboard down a hill and then take cover and shoot someone's head off is is pretty appealing. So I'm definitely gonna. I have it installed today. I just haven't. Uh, I haven't tried it yet. But it looks really amazing. So good idea. You know, thinking outside the box there. Um, a couple of things on tech. Um, I want to talk about. So that was the games half. This is the tech half. In case anyone wanted to separate it. Uh, one of the things that's 
recently came in my email was this. This is the uh, the Woosier rig. I have the Woosier strap for work. Um, that's this thing right here. But the uh, the rig is what I've been waiting for the whole time. Like this is the vest where the strap has two different points on your body that you can you can be uh, you know hit with bass sounds or or game sounds or music or whatever. This has eight different positions that. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna have to edit that part. <laughs> <laughs> it was so loud. Um, but yeah, so it's funny how the video just starts with a scream. But basically, people are trying on the vest, and it has eight different pieces that are uh, that are able to to affect you sound-wise. And it's just huge. It's just like a battle pack, you know? But, um, but it looks really good, you know? It looks like it's going to be a sweet, uh, sweet accessory. Um... But yeah, so I'm excited about that. There's also something I saw on my Twitter feed. It's got like a million views right now, which is which is pretty awesome. Um, let me see if I have it here. I think I have it here. There you go. So this, let me get it. This is pretty insane. Like I'm trying to figure out exactly what's happening here. Some people comment like, how is it the light can have a shadow cast but what I think is happening is there's several screens like clear displays stacked so this is like the future of TVs where we have stereoscopic 3d just from stacked displays like that's really exciting so uh, so that's pretty awesome um, I'm gonna like that in case you guys are following following me on Twitter uh, you can see liked posts of random cool tech stuff and what else was there? Uh, there was also this that I'm pretty really excited about. This is just the Pixel 3 website. I currently have a Pixel uh, XL. My wife has a Pixel 2. Um, solid phones, but uh, but I can definitely do an upgrade. I wouldn't be against that. Um, you know, just because it's coming on like a two-year birthday, you know. So that's kind of a, a replacement time for me. I, I think last time I went about three years. Um, but I'd like to, to see what the Pixel 3 turns out to be. Like, it, there's some rumors that, uh, that it looked like a certain thing, and then it was, you know, left in Ubers, and people took pictures of it, and it's like the most leaked phone ever. And then meanwhile, there's a whole other idea that that's not the phone that's coming out at all, and it's something else. So, um, we'll, we'll have to stay tuned and see. I don't, I don't know what to expect uh, except that I know it's going to be a solid device and I know Google is going to, going to do what they have to do to make sure it's uh, competitive, you know? And then uh, a couple other things, some rumors about the PlayStation 5, uh, nothing too, with too much traction, just a couple of developers saying like, yeah, I've seen these things, you know, no big deal. And then, uh, finally the RTX 2080. So that's, that's exciting. We got the, the new, nvidia card that's out out available for purchase i don't know if i'm going to get one um it's pretty pretty expensive uh but i do like the idea that it drops the price on the 1080s currently I'm, i have a 980 strix uh but i'd like to probably go 1080 ti i feel like um streaming and gaming on one pc uh when we're doing the encoding so i do encoding for with the with the nvenc the nvidia encoder and it uses quite a bit of graphics uh, processor potential there. I mean, it's like sometimes 30%, 35% trying to encode the video. And I'm trying to do like a 1080p 60 frames per second broadcast. So it can be a little uh, a little bit of a bottleneck there. So it'll be nice to... Um, it'll be nice to have something with a little bit more oomph, you know? Um, so 1080 Ti... Uh, I'm looking forward to getting one of those, maybe on sale or used. I, I'd even buy a used 1080 Ti because likely it wasn't mined on. So um, you got to kind of watch out for the crypto stuff. But uh, but yeah, 1080 Ti is a solid card. Um, as for new media, so this is under kind of the category we're going games tech, and then we're just gonna kind of kind of cover new media. Um, and that can be like YouTube or it can be movies or whatever. Um, but this time, um, 
I, just, I tried watching Iron Fist. I'll just talk about this one first. I tried watching Iron Fist. Was a little, um, I don't know, kind of not into it too much. I think they're they're going a different way. Maybe the villain's just not enough. I don't know. He just doesn't seem like he's he's crazy like the hand was or anything. Um, and there's a lot of moving parts. I think probably a couple more episodes in, I'll, I'll like it and I'll start making more sense. But, um, you know, bringing back certain characters from the last season, uh, I was kind of like, eh, we didn't really need to go there. Um, there's another exciting thing on uh, New Media, which is the Captain Marvel uh trailer which is pretty pretty amazing if you haven't seen it yet it's pretty good i'm not gonna put it on stream or uh or on youtube or on podcast here uh just because of you know marvel marvel copyright disney suits so uh that's exactly how you get stuff taken down but um but yeah there's some really cool uh cool scenes i mean she's she looks like probably the most powerful thing the marvel's come up with yet and this is post thor ragnarok thor so uh so it's gonna be good um, another one I'm excited about is uh, Wreck-It Ralph. The new Wreck-It Ralph looks really good. Um, I enjoyed the first one a lot, just kind of watching what's walking around in like the uh, the Grand Central Station that they have there, the power strip. Um, but now they're going to the internet, so it's like everything's possible. And uh, just seeing some of the character fly by, is very, it's very Ready Player One to me, where you get to watch the movie and just get nothing but just like, oh my gosh, there was that guy, there was this guy, it's Chucky. You know, just craziness. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. Looking forward to that one. Um, and then we're kind of moving fast, but that's no big deal. We'll see. We'll see how this goes, and then we'll kind of add content or add sections as needed. Um, it's a it's a work in progress. Uh, so finally, I guess a streamer shout out. Uh, I think I will do one streamer to shout out at the moment. And this time we'll do, um, I know what I want to do for episode two, but for episode one, um, I'd like to shout out Arcanaut. Uh, so far he's kind of like the, the best streamer that, in my opinion, on Mixer. Um, I really like the, the quality of his streams. It definitely challenges others, including myself to, uh, to kind of step it up a notch. Like I have an interactive arcade, so I kind of you know, have people playing the stream too. Um, which I think is how he kind of got started having like an interactive thing that people got to kind of add to the game. Um, but yeah, I, I like the, I like the, uh, the art community and, uh, just Arcanaut in general. Um, he's hosted me a couple times. We're just monster hosts with hundreds of people and, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of, uh, my followers over on Mixer have come from that. So I just wanted to, uh, to give a shout out if, you know, some point in the future, um, you know, this podcast is just like blown up and he's mentioned in episode one and people go find him, um, on Mixer. It's, uh, it, it, that'd be cool. You know, um, definitely drop him a follow. Uh, he's like a rising star. I remember like right now he's at 164,000 followers and, uh, I saw him, I think before, he had 25,000, which is like huge exponential growth over this last six months. Um, pretty amazing stuff. Uh, and then finally, uh, just credits in general. Thanks to everyone who swung by the stream tonight and checked in, uh, played on the arcade, won some tickets. Uh, it's so awesome to see everyone hanging out. Um, and I think that's it. Thanks so much for, uh, for, you know, hanging out with me, trying out the first podcast of uh, Pixels Get Me. And uh, if you ever want to catch me live, I'm at uh, mixer.com slash pixels get me, which is, you know, just as it's spelled uh, P I X E L S G E T M E. And uh, if you're finding this podcast, obviously you can see, uh, you can see my links probably in the show notes. All right. Thanks so much for, uh, for hanging out. I'll see you guys next time.